scapula is a triangular bone of the shoulder region it presents two surfaces three borders three angles on the lateral side there is a spine this is cranial border of the scapula dorsal border of the scapula and this is caudal border of the scapula this is cranial angle caudal angle ventral angle or glenoid angle on the lateral surface of the scapula there is a spine this fossa cranial to the spine or superior to the spine is supraspinous fossa and this fossa inferior to the spine or caudal to the spine is infraspinous fossa supraspinous fossa is occupied by supraspinatus muscle infraspinous fossa is occupied by infraspinatus muscle this spine of sp scapula presents attachment to the different muscles for example trapezius muscle rhomboidus muscle omotransversarius muscle and this distal extended part of the spine which is termed as acromion process provides attachment to the deltoideus muscle on the medial side this is subscapular fossa which is occupied by subscapularis muscle near the cranial and caudal angles there are rough areas for the attachment of serrated ventralis muscle and these rough areas are termed as facci serrata or serrated faces this is ventral or glenoid angle of the scapula there is a glenoid cavity which articulates with the head of humerus forming the shoulder joint superior to the glenoid cavity this is supraglenoid tubercle it provides attachment to the bicep brachii muscle on the medial side of sup supraglenoid tubercle there is the process which is termed as coracoid process this coracoid process provides attachment to the coracobrachialis muscle in live animals there is a cartilage present at the dorsal border of scapula which is termed as scapular cartilage the cranial border of scapula forms a notch near the glenoid end and this notch is termed as scapular notch the overall constriction this overall constriction near the glenoid end of the scapula is termed as neck of the scapula this caudal border of scapula provides attachment to the teres major muscle tricep brachii muscle this is the scapula in case of dog this scapula belongs to ox and this scapula belongs to horse acromion process is present in case of ox absent in case of horse tuber spinae is present in case of horse absent in case of an ox 
the distance between glenoid cavity and supraglenoid tubercle is more in case of horse this distance is comparatively less in case of an ox so these are the salient species differences okay.